Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can share CSS style rules between components. So the idea behind this demonstration is I will be creating a component named as CSS library. And in this component, I will be having two files, cssLibrary.css and cssLibrary.meta.xml. So this component will only be having the CSS implemented. Remember, whenever you want to share CSS of a component in form of library to other components. So in that component, you don't need to implement .html and .js file. If they are available, you just need to delete those. Otherwise, your uh, sharing of CSS won't be working fine. Then. I will be creating one more component in that component. I will be having all the files and the CSS library dot CSS that will be created in separate component. I will be importing that CSS file into my component dot CSS. So actually there will be two components. One will work as a library, which will be responsible for sharing CSS to other components and uh, other components, you can create any number of components and in those components, you can just import the CSS, which is available in the library. So the benefit of this is to share one CSS into another more than one components. So let's jump into Visual Studio code and I will be creating the components from the beginning. So I'm right clicking on the LWC folder and I'm creating new lightning web component. So I'm naming it as CSS lib and you can see .html and .javascript files are already created. So I'm going to right click and delete those files. So you can move them to bin or trash. Sorry, I just need to delete it as well. Now I'm going to create a new file and I'm naming it as CSS lib dot CSS, right? So in this file, I will be writing the CSS. So I'm writing CSS for H1 tag. And here I'm writing font size colon XX hyphen large. So this way in this CSS lib component, I just created this CSS file and I just deleted dot HTML and dot JavaScript file. So this is important. If you don't delete, then your component won't be working. Now I'm going to create one more component. So I'm right clicking on LWC folder and selecting create new lightning web component. So naming it as CSS share CMP. So this will be my component, which will be fetching or importing the CSS, which I already defined in CSS lib. So here I'm going to implement this HTML file. So here I am implementing H1 tag. So demo of share CSS style rules. And I'm implementing P tag as well. So inside this tag, I'm writing lightning web component demo. And above that, I'm going to implement lightning card as well. So lightning card and title I'm writing as share CSS style rule demo. And I'm cutting and pasting these statements inside lightning card. So this way, the share component HTML file is implemented. Now I'm going to create a new file under this component. And this file name will be CSS share CMP dot CSS. And here I'm going to write at the rate import space, then single quotes C slash, then you need to write CSS lib. So both are separate components. So that is why I'm writing C slash CSS lib. So C is basically namespace where all the components are stored and the component name is CSS lib. So I'm just importing that. And that component is only having dot CSS file. So it will be working fine. So I'm just saving it. Now I'm going to open dot XML file 
and here I'm setting uh, is exposed as true, then I need to set the target. So targets, then target, and I am selecting lightning homepage for this component. Opening meta.xml for that library component. So here I am writing is exposed as true. Then target, inside target, I am going to set target and it will be lightning homepage. So I will be placing my CSS share component on lightning homepage and it will be using the CSS lib component. So what happened? I just created two components. So one is CSS lib, which is having CSS for H1 tag. And uh, in CSS share component, I just imported. Remember one thing, if you want to write component specific CSS in this CSS share component, so you can just write that as well below this import statement. So that CSS will be applied automatically. So I'm going to demo that as well. So first of all, I'm going to deploy both the components to the org so that I can show you whether this CSS is applied from one component to another through this import statement or not. So I'm going to deploy CSS lib component. So right clicking and selecting deploy source to org. And I'm deploying this CSS share component as well. So it is being deployed. So if both the components are deployed successfully, as you can see, both are deployed successfully. Now I can jump to org and I'm already on home page and I'm just clicking on a gear icon and I clicked on edit page. So now I just need to place my CSS share component. So here you can see I have this CSS share component. So I'm just placing it here. And here you can see the results are available. So uh, at top, you can see share CSS style rule demo. This is because of lightning card. It is title of that. And demo of shared CSS style rule, it is H1. And it is showing in large text because we uh, applied or implemented uh, H1 CSS which is having font size as XX large. And that lightning web component demo, it is because of P tag, which is in small, right? If I save it and go back, so you will be able to see the results on UI as well. Now my requirement is to increase the size of this P tag as well. So we have two ways. Either we can implement the CSS in the CSS share component itself. So we are not writing that into the library. So first of all, I'm going to write it here so that you can understand like here also we can write the CSS. So similar to this font size XX large here, we can write it. So it is giving some error semicolon expected is okay. So here I need to write a semicolon. Now it is correct. So at the end of sp import statement, you need to write semicolon so that both the uh, styles will be separated. So now if I save it, so it is uh, saving correctly. Now I just modified my CSS share component, which is the second component. So I'm just deploying it to org. Now, if I refresh the page, so you will see the lightning web component demo will be capitalized. So sometimes you need to refresh multiple times so that changes will apply. So here you can see this is also enlarged. Now what we can do if you want to remove it from here and uh, you want to write it in this library. So that is also possible. You can write it like this. Now H1 and P tag CSS is uh, defined in the library component and you are importing it into CSS share component. So both the H1 and P style will be shared here automatically, right? So if you, right now we changed in both the components. So you just need to deploy both the components from source to org. And uh, if both the components are deployed, then you can go and you can refresh your homepage and you will see there will be no change because earlier also that uh, change applied uh, because we implemented uh, CSS here in the second component. I just shifted it uh, from here to uh, this place. So what we can do here, we can apply color. So I'm going to apply color and here I'm writing red. Okay, so that uh, we can see the changes. 
So now I'm going to deploy it again. So it is deployed successfully. Now, if I refresh, so you will see this lightning web component demo, this text will change into red color. So I'm refreshing it one more time so that change will be applied. So now you can see this is converted into red color. So this way, I hope you understood like if your CSS is implemented in a common component, uh, in a library component, having .css file only, then you can just import that into other components so that you can share your CSS. And along with that, you can write component specific CSS as well. Right. So this way, I hope you understood like how we can share CSS style rules between components in or while implementing lightning web component. So implement this and uh, you can also uh, demo this in your org so that you can un understand how we can share one CSS component into another.